Understanding Pained Expression, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting phrase, pained expression. This phrase is not just about words, but also about how they reflect our emotions and body language. Understanding such phrases will not only enhance your English vocabulary but also your ability to understand and express subtle emotional nuances in English. So, let's get started. A pained expression is a type of facial expression that clearly shows that someone is experiencing pain, discomfort, or distress. This pain can be physical, like when someone has a headache, or emotional, like feeling sad or worried. The key here is that the pain is visible on the person's face. It's not just about saying, I'm in pain, but it's about showing it through facial expressions. How can you tell if someone has a pained expression? There are several common features. Frowning. The eyebrows are often drawn together, creating a furrowed brow. Eyes. The eyes might be squinted or look strained. Mouth. The corners of the mouth might be turned down, or the lips pressed tightly together. Overall appearance. The face might look tense or strained, rather than relaxed. Let's look at how to use this phrase in different contexts. Describing someone's reaction. When he heard the news, his face turned into a pained expression. In storytelling, the character walked away with a pained expression, hiding her true feelings. In everyday conversation, I could tell from his pained expression that he didn't enjoy the movie. Understanding phrases like pained expression is crucial because much of our communication is nonverbal. By knowing what a pained expression looks like and how to describe it, you can better understand people's unspoken feelings and emotions. This is especially important in English, where many expressions involve descriptions of physical reactions to emotions. We hope this video has helped you understand what a pained expression is and how to recognize and use this phrase in English. Remember, Learning a language is not just about words, but also about understanding the emotions and experiences they convey. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be able to express and interpret these subtle emotional nuances fluently. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.